All right, let's talk about Duffy Blood Group. All right, Duffy's composed of your FYA, FYB. That should be a little B. <laughs> Sorry about that. So you got your whites, your blacks. 10 was a good year. When you become 10, your first two digits. Michael Jordan, number 23. 65, when I retire, and 80. We don't want to talk about what happens at 80. So you can tell there's a big difference between this and this because Duffy is a receptor site for Plasmodium vivax. So if you lack the Duffy antigen, you will less likely be infected by Plasmodium vivax, which is endemic to Africa. Now to the cell membrane. You're looking at this right here. I like to call it Duffy the dinosaur that's destroyed by enzymes, showing dosing. Enough Ds there. Enzymes destroyed Duffy the dinosaur. It is early on that dinosaurs existed, and in six months, you're uh, expressing the Duffy antigen. It is a glycophorin, hence the O, and a chemokine receptor. So put the little dots around there because it's a chemokine receptor. The antibody, we're looking at an IgG2, 3, and 4. Four. This IgG 2, 3, and 4 is an IgG, obviously. So you want to cross match at AHG because it's a warm reacting antibody. And you will want antigen negative units. It is implicated in hemolytic transfusion reactions. And it is in mild cases of HDN. And like I said, Duffy the dinosaur is destroyed by enzymes while dosing. So the D's, 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 and H, D, N, and mild. We'll make sure. No mild. And hemolytic transfusion reactions. It is probably one of the more important ones that you'll see. Uh, just because of the Plasmodium vivex, it's most likely to be on an exam or something like that. So, big things to remember, enzymes and Plasmodium vivex.